Did you know that Apple Notes can scan documents, turn handwriting into text, and even link notes together? Well, most people don't, so they end up using multiple apps, just cluttering their workflow when all they really need is a compact Swiss Army knife. So in this video, I'm going to show you 25 powerful and easy to use Apple Notes features that'll save you hours every week and make you want to delete every other note-taking productivity app forever. But how can we save both time and effort? Well, think about those moments when you have a brilliant idea, but you're in a rush and unlocking your device just feels like it takes forever. What if you didn't even need to unlock your screen? And that's where Quick Notes comes in. Those minutes turn into hours saved every week. Imagine getting an extra 10 hours back in your schedule just by using this one feature. On an iPad, you can access Quick Notes without even unlocking your screen. Just tap on your lock screen and you're right into the note. If not already enabled, go into your settings, apps, notes, and then at the bottom, you can enable the access quick notes from the lock screen. And here you can also choose whether to resume the last note or start a new one. It really couldn't be easier. Another way to quickly open a quick note on iPad is by making a gesture from the bottom right of the screen. Again, this can be customized in settings, multitasking and gestures, and then select the action you want on the bottom corner gestures here at the bottom. But what if you're using quick notes on an iPhone? Whether you're on iPhone or iPad, starting a quick note is super easy. Just swipe down to open control center, tap quick notes and start typing. It's like jotting something down on a sticky note, but way faster. To add quick notes to your control center, first open control center by swiping down from the top right, press and hold, tap add a control, and then locate the quick note control. You can arrange where you want it on the page and tap off it when you're done. And just like that, you've set up a shortcut that takes seconds to access, saving you time whenever you want to make a note. To use Quick Note, open the control center and tap the Quick Note icon, and you're taken straight into a new Quick Note. It really is like having a little notebook that is just always in reach, whether it's jotting down a brilliant idea or adding a link to the latest binge watch TV series. And here's where it's even smarter. You see, it's also context aware. So perhaps you're in the calendar app and you've opened an event, Open Quick Notes and it'll give you a prompt to add a link to that event in the note. If you're viewing a web page in Safari and open a Quick Note, you can quickly add a link to the site you're viewing. But what if we just want to save a selected portion of text? Well, we can use a select tool to highlight the text and then when the menu appears, press the right arrow and choose a new Quick Note. The selected text as well as a link to the source of the text will then be created in a new Quick Note. But Quick Notes isn't just about capturing your thoughts in a rush. Imagine you're searching online. You want to gather links, ideas, and inspiration from multiple apps, all without switching between them. Imagine that with one tap, you could save links and information directly into a note. That's where the Share Sheet feature comes in. It's almost like having a personal assistant. With one tap, you can update your notes without even breaking a sweat. And once you do it once or twice, it becomes second nature. From any other app that lets you access a share sheet, tap the share icon, go down to edit actions and choose add to quick note. Then when you are in that app, you can easily choose a share icon and add a link or reference to the information in the app directly into your quick note. In just a few taps, you've seamlessly captured important information without even leaving the app you're working in. Now, once we've captured those brilliant ideas in quick notes, you might be wondering, how do I find them when I need them? Here's where Apple Notes really shines, finding and organizing them when you need them most, taking your note management to the next level. Let me show you how you can retrieve any note in seconds. When you open the notes app and at the top of your folders list, you'll see a folder for quick notes. Open that and there they are, neatly organized and ready for you to access whenever you need them. So our notes are organized and easy to find what we're looking for, but when we go into them, they're bland. And for those longer notes, it can be an overwhelming wall of text. Well, those days are over. Now you have a range of formatting options that make your notes polished and professional and easy to read. It's like giving your notes a makeover, perhaps bowls for important stuff, colors to highlight and bullet points to keep everything in line. When you first start a note, the first line of text automatically formats as the note's title. And then when you hit enter, you can start writing the note. To choose formatting options, tap on the text format icon at the bottom left. Here you can see the text style options for title, heading, subheading, body, and monostyled. A bonus feature when you're using notes on your Mac is that you can press Command plus or Command minus to increase or decrease the text size. On the next row, we can choose bold, italics, underline, and subscript. We can also highlight text and choose a color for the highlight. And finally, in the third row, we have style options for bullet and numerical lists and indentation adjustment. And lastly, a call out option, which adds a sidebar to the line of text. 
Now that your notes look great, how do we make them even more functional? Well, from grocery shopping to big projects, Apple Notes makes creating and managing checklists a breeze. Let's take a look at how this works. Selecting this icon turns any text into a checkbox. Your note then turns into an interactive checklist, which can be really handy for creating things like shopping lists and holiday packing lists. An extra feature many people don't realise is that you can also set the order of the list so that checked items will automatically go to the bottom. To set this, in iOS go into Settings and into the Notes app. Scroll down to Viewing and then you can choose to sort checked items manually or automatically. On the Mac, go to File, Settings and you'll also see the same item there. Now checklists are great for keeping things simple but sometimes we need to go a step further and organise our information visually. Apple Notes has an incredibly easy to use tables feature, perfect for laying out data, ideas or tasks without feeling you're getting into the business of an Excel spreadsheet. To start a new table, just tap the table icon and a 2x2 two two table will be created. To add more rows or columns, just tap the three dots above the column or beside the row where you want to insert and choose add row or column as required. But what if you need more flexibility than tables alone can offer? Do you remember doodling your notebooks during school? Well, Apple Notes lets you do just that, but now it's actually productive. Whether you're brainstorming or sketching ideas, Apple Notes' drawing and markup tools can bring a whole new dimension to your note taking. Let's see them in action. Once you're in a note, you can select the draw icon and you'll get a set of drawing tools available to you. We can also add stickers and text, signatures and other shapes. When you combine notes with an iPad and an Apple Pencil, this is where notes really gets useful, as you can literally draw anything on your notes, as well as just typing text. When drawing or handwriting, you might find you want to remove the default guidelines on your page. You can choose from various options by selecting the three dot icon and selecting lines and grids. And from there, we can choose several options to suit the type of note you want to create. But what can you do when you're in a meeting and you prefer to handwrite your notes rather than type along as a meeting flows? Or for those occasions when typing just isn't fast enough? With the iPad and Apple Pencil, you can write your notes by hand and watch as it instantly converted to type text. To set this up, on the iPad, tap the drawing icon and then tap the handwriting tool. You can then write with Apple Pencil and the writing will automatically be converted into type text. Using this, you can also delete a word by scratching it out. Select text or words or paragraphs easily with two taps for a word and three for a paragraph, or circle the section you want. What happens when we're traveling and we struggle to read a menu, or maybe we're working on a document in another language that we just can't understand? This is where Apple Notes Translate feature comes into play, because within Apple Notes, you can actually translate text on the go. Let's see how simple it is. First, we highlight the text we want to translate. Tap the right icon to scroll across and tap Translate. We then get options to choose the language we want to translate the text to. Plus, we can choose whether to replace the highlighted text with the new translation or just copy the text. We can also add the translation as a favourite, which will show in the Apple Translate app, or move straight into the app. But now I have all our notes, translated text, drawings, tables and doodles. How on earth do we find what we need when we need it without getting overwhelmed? Well, we can start by arranging our notes. First tap the three dots in the top right corner and we can select the sort order of our notes in that folder. We can also group notes by date. We also have the option to show attachments and this will bring up a page showing all the attachments within any of our notes, sorted by the type of attachment. But sometimes we still don't want to get lost in a long list of notes. So how do we achieve more than just basic organization? Apple Notes primarily uses a folder structure to help you categorize and organize your notes. Now we can really look to supercharge your organization. With folders, tags and smart folders, you can categorize and find your notes faster than ever. Here's how to use these powerful features to stay on top of everything. To start with, we can create folders and then store notes inside those folders. But we can also create nested folders that sit inside others. We can do this simply by dragging one folder over another or creating new folders within an existing one. This can be really useful when you want to keep collections of notes in a particular group, such as projects. Another way to help organize notes is by using tags. Tags are a bit like labels you stick onto your notes. Just type a hashtag with the word and that note can instantly be grouped with other similar ones, making them super easier to find later. A note can contain as many tags as you need. On the notes main page, we can then view all our tags and selecting one of these will display all the notes that are using that tag. Folders are a great way to start organizing your notes, but if you really want to supercharge your workflow, we can use smart folders. Here where we selected a tag once in the tag view, we can select the three dot icon in the top right and choose create smart folder. 
Here we can name the folder and choosing done will save that folder. We can now see this folder in our list, indicated with a cog icon. Smart folders are even more powerful. If we go back into the smart folder we just created, we can choose to manage smart folder and this takes us into a new menu. Here we can add more tags and choose whether any or all tags must be selected for the filter. We can choose folders based on dates created or edited, whether notes are shared, whether they contain any mentions. We can also choose whether they contain checklists and also whether there are unchecked or checked items in those checklists. We can filter by different types of attachments. We can include or exclude certain folders. Choose whether to include quick notes, pin notes, and notes that are locked. So with a little thought, we can harness the power of smart folders to really create information that is at our fingertips right when we need it. But now we have our notes organized, how can we join them together and turn them into a personal knowledge base? You see, with Apple Notes linking feature, you can connect your thoughts and ideas by linking notes together, like building blocks, making navigation easier than ever and creating a powerful, personalized knowledge base. Let's see how to make the most of this feature. When browsing on your Mac and your inner notes, you can click on the add link icon at the top, choose the link you want to add and it will be added right into your notes. On your iPhone or iPad, simply open the share icon, choose notes and you have the option to save the link to the web page or app to a new note or a particular existing note. We can also select text or images from web pages or other documents and then use the pop-up menu or the share sheet icon to send the selected text or image and link into a quick note. When we click on the link, it will take us right back to the point in the page or document where the selected text was highlighted. The ability to add links isn't just limited to web pages or documents. We can also use a share icon or drag an email from the mail app right into notes. This then means the email is available for context as a direct link. Most people don't think of Apple Notes as a powerhouse, but with features like this, it's the underdog that really pulls its weight. And there's a fantastic way we can use lists with note linking so that we can create a table of contents within a note that contains links to other notes or simply just link to another note anywhere within a note. To create a link, highlight the text you want as a link, select add link from the pop-up menu and then type the title of the note you want to link to. You can choose whether to use the notes title as a link or create a different text for the link. Here's what it can look like when combined as a list to create a neat looking table of contents. But we still need to make sure that our most important notes are always easy to access. Perhaps you have some notes that you always want instant access to, so they're always just one tap away. With Apple Notes, you can pin notes for quick access, meaning they stay at the top. So they're always right there where you need them. Let me show you how this works. To pin a note from within a note, when you have it open, simply select the three dots icon and choose pin. You can also swipe right on a note to quickly pin it. The note will now appear at the top of the list of notes under the pinned heading. Let's imagine you're reading something and you see some text that you want to remember quickly. So how can you come back to it later? How can we capture text from the real world? Well, this next feature lets you do just that. And this can be great, especially for students or when you need to capture a specific portion of text. You see, Apple Notes scanning feature lets you pull text from documents, posters, or even menus. Basically, anything you can point your camera at and with just a snap. Let me show you how easy it is. We can tap on the pay-per-click icon and choose scan text. Then position the camera to the text we want to scan. And once highlighted, tap insert and the text will be added into your note. What if you could go beyond just text and add photos, videos, and even documents into your notes? Apple Notes makes it super simple to embed all kinds of media, turning your notes into a complete project hub. Let's have a look at how easy that is. Apple Notes supports embedding various common file formats into a note, so you can import photos, videos, documents, and PDF files right into a note. To attach any file or choose a photo, select the paperclip icon when you're within a note and choose from the menu. This will embed your chosen file right into the note. You can even pull in recordings from the Apple Voice Memo app or from the menu, create a new recording straight into notes. This is great when you want to quickly capture some audio thoughts. Another super fast way to import media is by simply dragging and dropping the item straight onto notes. This works in both Mac, iPad OS and iOS on your iPhone and it's so seamlessly slick, it's amazing how easy this works. Now earlier I showed you how on iPad swiping from the bottom right opened a quick note. But another great feature is when we want to take a screenshot and we want to pull this into notes. Just make a gesture from the bottom right to take a screenshot. Then you can annotate and draw on your screenshot image before either clicking done or choosing to save as a quick note or use the share sheet to save to a new note or into an existing note. 
A brilliant extra feature is when you take a screenshot of a web page. Before you share it into notes, you can choose at the top whether to save the screen or the full web page. But what if you need to quickly digitize a physical paper document? Apple Notes has a built-in scanner that lets you easily turn those documents into PDFs and keep everything organized in one place. Let me show you how simple it is. From the same menu, choose Scan Documents and the camera will open. Put the documents in the frame and as you do, Notes will auto detect the documents and capture the page or you can press the capture button. Scan another page and you can add multiple pages. Once you're done, tap the save button and the scan document will be embedded right into the note. If there are multiple pages, this icon allows you to see all the pages scanned and quickly switch between them. I found this great for scanning copies of travel documents for a trip or holiday so that everything is stored safely in one place for easy reference. Now sometimes we might have information that's stored in a note that is private and we don't want anyone else to easily access what might be sensitive information. So how do we make sure that our notes stay secure? Well, Apple Notes allows you to lock individual notes, which then requires Face ID, Touch ID or a passcode to access a locked note, giving you added peace of mind and making sure your private information stays secure. Here's how. From within a note, tap the three dots icon and choose a lock icon to lock a note. So now we've got captured all our information, got it organized and secure, but what if you need to access your notes across multiple devices? Well, here's where Apple Notes truly shines. Thanks to iCloud, your notes sync seamlessly across all your devices. It means you can start your note on your iPhone, you can finish it on your Mac, making your productivity effortless. But Apple Notes doesn't just keep you organized across devices. It's also perfect for working with others. Whether you're sharing notes or collaborating in real time, here's how to get the most out of Apple Notes collaboration tools. We can choose any note to share by accessing the share menu. The share can be sent either via AirDrop or other messaging apps you have installed. We can choose collaborate from the menu or send a copy. Select the text below and you can choose whether anyone can access the notes with a link or only specific people you invite and then whether they can make specific changes or have view only permissions. We can also choose whether other people can further share the note to others. You can also use the same method to share an entire folder. This is great for shared projects that might contain multiple notes. Collaboration works great and as long as those editing are online, everyone will see the real time editing on the document. We can also see the history of any edits from within the shared note. Simply swipe the page to the right and each change is marked with the name of who edited it, along with the dates of any of those edits. Within the shared note, selecting the user icon at the top brings up another menu showing you current participants and ability to toggle on or off the activity of highlights of edits made. Here we can manage the access and add more people or remove people as well, or even stop sharing altogether. Even with all your notes perfectly organized, sometimes you just need to find that one key piece of information quickly. With Apple Notes' search feature, you'll never waste time digging through your notes again. Here's how to find exactly what you need in seconds. From the main notes page, just tap into the search bar at the top. Now we also get some advanced search options so we can narrow down our search further. Just start typing or tap the microphone to dictate and enter your search terms. We can also further adjust our search to the current notes account or to other notes accounts where these are present. When you locate the note you want, you have the options to pin, share, move or delete, or just tap the note to go straight into view and edit. But we can save even more time because we don't actually need to open notes to find the note we want. And that's because on iPhone, iPad and Mac, we can use spotlight search. On iPhone and iPad, just swipe the home screen down to access search and start typing the note you want to find. Spotlight searches your device and will show up any notes that match your search. On a Mac, to start a search, just press Command and the spacebar to type searching. Super quick and easy. But what if you need to create a note even faster? When you long press on the notes icon, you'll get this quick menu and it allows us to create a new note, checklist, photo, scan a document, or without even entering the notes app. This makes creating notes lightning fast. But whilst you're now equipped with all the essential Apple Notes features, that's just one part of the puzzle. There's something important that will unlock even more powerful tools, making your entire workflow faster, smoother, and even more efficient than you ever thought possible. So in this next video, I'll show you how to turn your device into a full-blown productivity powerhouse without adding any extra apps or complexity.